<laughs> That's a terrible idea. Candace yeah, yeah, yeah. Aquila, everybody, Candace Aquila. You look very swish. Candace Aquila sounds a bit like Dracula. It does. Yes. That's how I try to pronounce it on the phone when people miss. Really? Yes. You say, hello, it's Miss Acula. Yes, that's the exact Acula. Did, you, did, did people say that before you were in the Vampire Diaries? Where, like, your name sounds a bit Dracula ish? Yeah. And my, doc, my dad's a doctor, so then for him, it's Dr. Acula. Dr. So Acula. Kind of Dracula. That's the real thing. Yes. Are you a vampire? Um, sometimes. <laughs> Aren't you a vampire? Yes, all the time. I feed on the talent of other people. Mm. <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, look. Look at you. Yeah. Did you just get engaged? I, I did. I got engaged um, in May of this year. That's, Thank wow, you. Wow, look at this. May I? May yes. I? Yes. Ooh, yes. that's good. You did a very yes. good job. So it looks like there's someone else's maybe a doctor too, yeah. right? <laughs> what does your fiancé do? He's a musician. Oh, well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. What does he play? He, uh, he plays a little bit of everything. Right. Uh, his band's The Fray. The Fray? Yeah. Oh, get away. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Really? They're good. They are good. Yeah. yeah I'm did really you meet him at a concert? Like Were you like down the front going, mm-hmm, hi? <laughs> We met um, at playing a flag football game at the, for the Super Bowl, as young couples usually meet. Right. Yeah. You were playing a flag football we game? We were. It was, it was like a, called a celebrity beach bowl, and we were both on the same team, um, but neither of us were really good, so it was him, me, and Neil Patrick Harris that stayed mostly on the sidelines. I side know lines. Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah. No, there's no way you're getting engaged with <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris. But that's, uh, that's lovely, though. Yeah. When, are you, when are you getting married? Soon-ish? Later-ish? Um, next year. Next year-ish? Yeah. We're going to get married in New Orleans, so it's been oh, really that's fun great. planning. Is yes. it going to be like, uh, you know, all kind of Dracula-y, like vampire? This? Um, no. Okay. But, <laughs> no, we're, it's more about, like, music and food. Why in New Orleans? Uh, we both just really love the city. It's a great and place. He's always on the, on the road, and I'm always traveling, so we figure why not make it a destination for everyone. Really? Do you travel a lot? I do. I thought with the Vampire Diaries you'd just, like, you know, stay in the same place and act. We are, but then I got engaged to a musician. Oh, so. right, I see. And then you travel around with him. On the bus? Uh, yes, I get on the bus. So if your life is Spinal Tap, you're Janine? I guess I'm Janine. Yes. <laughs> Have you I made astrological... Exactly like oh, I'm just saying. If it's Spinal Tap, you're Janine. Um, I guess so. Um, but I, I used to work as... I worked as a backup singer um, many moons ago. And so... Really? I've been, on, I've, done the, I've been on the road before. So it's actually nice. I know the routine. Right, you know the rules. I know the etiquette, the bus etiquette. Like no number twos on the no bus. No number twos on the oh, bus. Yeah, yeah. And you can't... Yeah, and there's a lot of bathroom rules on a bus. Well, it's a small place a with small a lot of guys on it. You gotta with a lot of yeah, a lot of a right. Lot there's of guys. guys on it. There's a lot of you know fast food. Yes. Uh, a lot of people falling asleep oh, and a lot yes. of jiggling around. So bathroom rules is where you've got to establish that's, first. Yes, that's the most adult area right. of the bus. So do other wives and girlfriends and fiancés and stuff travel on the bus or is it just? Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone goes out every once in a while. So it's kind of like Woodstock. It is. It's yeah. Crazy man. No, it's it's really it's it's really fun. Are you a musician yourself? Do you like? To? Um, I. I started off doing music. I moved to LA when I was 16. 16? I did, yeah. Parents must have been out of their skin. I know, I know, 16. they're crazy. But then I got a record deal, so they let me stay. Really? I did. What, were you singing? I was singing. What kind of stuff um, did you sing? I was like 16, so I was doing like pop rock and. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, nobody understood me. Do people understand? <laughs> I get that all the time. I, know. I, I thought it was my accent. Yeah. Were you very tortured as a teen? <laughs> I wasn't too tortured as a teen. I think that was my biggest issue is that like when I came out to LA, it was like, what's your story? You know, where did you come from? I was like, well, my dad's a doctor and my mom's great. She was an engineer and I've got this great brother and I grew up in Florida. I didn't yeah, really yeah, have, no, yeah, a, it was very You're from boring. Florida? I am. Well, there's a story. I heard that you were recently in Florida. I was, I was in Orlando. I, I, That's where I grew up. Stop. Would, have you been back there? <laughs> <laughs> have you?
have you uh, have you been back there on the Harry Potter world? Yes. Harry? I didn't and go. Do, no, why? I, I can't have a 50-year-old man on his no. own at the Harry Potter ride. You can. I mean, that <laughs> I have to take my. I'll go if my kids are there. Yes. If I go on my own, True. it's like. Hey. It's very. It's very. It's a great ride, though. Oh yeah. I, I had to. Um, yeah, my fiance Joe got a little bit sick the first time he went, but I convinced well, his daughters to be able to go so they could handle it. Well, that's musicians for you. They're, yeah. they're badass. You know, yeah. they get sick totally. on the Harry Potter ride. <laughs> I wonder if Lemmy would get sick on the Harry Potter <laughs> ride. No, that's, is it very thingy? It's just, it's just a big, it's like an indoor 3D, but then and then it's not 3D. It's it's a pretty, it's a great one. It's one of my good. new faves, yeah. So you grew up next to the theme park then? I did, but I didn't really, I didn't go to the theme parks too much growing up because it was always right there. busy. Yeah. yeah, I was more into like, have you, um, did you ever, probably not, there's a place called Gatorland. That's that's why I, I went go a lot do growing you up. Enjoy the company of gators. You do. You enjoy the company of many gators. Yeah. Um, there's things to do like you watch gator wrestling. Mm -hmm. You watch gator jumping. Isn't um, that a bit like gator wrestling, except the gator's on his yeah. own? <laughs> no. Well, they, they, you see them like they. It's like there's one crocodile and the giant crocodile jumps and you, they hang like chicken, dead chicken, like chicken meat, not just like raw. <laughs> so uh, vegetable yeah. shaped like chicken. <laughs> I don't right. want you to picture like a dead chicken, but it is a dead chicken. Well, that, that and, happens, you know. And so, but they have them like come and jump out of the water and. and uh, really? Yeah. Is this uh, is this legal? Yeah, <laughs> it's been a, a family operating establishment for for quite some time. Yeah, all right. So I recommend. Are they are they nice to the gators? They're though? very nice to the okay. gators. Yes. Do you have a, a, an alligator? No, not personally. Um, we've had yeah, them in our yeah. lake. My, I grew up on lakes, so we would have um, the you alligators. Um, in, when you you can touch baby gators at Gatorland, but and you don't want to touch them in your lakes. Usually, you call Gator Patrol and they come get them out. Gator Patrol? <laughs> See, that's a show I yeah. watch. <laughs> Gator Patrol yeah. on the CW, all yeah. these hot young people yes. getting gators out of your yard. There we go, let's pitch it. I just did. Pilot season's coming up, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, it is actually. So uh, the Vampire Diaries, so that's the big show. It's yeah, it's been yeah, great. We're in our fifth season. We just uh, finished. That's the money one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we actually just wrapped our hundredth episode, which was really, great. yeah, it was really special. This was yeah. big, my first um, big job. That's so. great. Congratulations. Thank that you. really is something. Thanks. And getting married as well. Thanks. Lovely. Thank All going on. Thanks. Good. Well. Do you in oh. therapy at all? Um, I am. Yes, you are now. <laughs> I'm sorry that we are out of time. Oh, no. Or am I? Oh. Out of time, I mean. I don't know. I don't know. Are you in therapy? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Does a bottle of wine and all your girlfriends count? Yes. <laughs> if you videotape it and send it to me. Perfect. <laughs> Do you guys have pillow fights and stuff? Just say um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the, yeah, and we bake cookies. Ooh. It's very, it's very fascinating. What type of cookies do you bake? A chocolate chip. My wife just started making uh, mince pie cookies. Ooh, mince pie cookies? Yeah, you know how they have mince pies in Britain at Christmas Yeah, but time? isn't that like potatoes and meat? No, 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 no. Mince pie is kind of like, it, they say it's, it's like Christmas, it's like little kind of fruity things. Oh, then I'm way off. Right, right. Oh, no. You, <laughs> like, you're so wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's little bits of fruity thing, and instead of the chocolate chip, it's just like the little fruity thing, but it's not mm. only raisin. Don't think it's that. Okay, it's no. It's very nice. Ooh, that does yeah. sound delicious. Yeah, I'm getting very fat on them. Yeah. No, I, after this, I'm actually gonna go. Um, Are you a good eat, cook? I try to cook. Yeah. I try. I'm successful like 50% of the time. That's all right. I like to cook though. What do you like to cook, gator? Uh, <laughs> I haven't actually cooked gator, um, but I like to cook. I like to bake a lot of things. I like to just put things in the oven, like a lot of potatoes and and stews. I You're like to make chili. You're a good girl. Thanks. Yeah. Good yeah. For you. Well, we're out of time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good luck on your impending nuptials. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate right. it. Uh, Thanks. Say, say, uh, say goodbye. I'm saying goodbye? Well, throw it at a commercial break or something. I'm tired of it. I do it all the time. <laughs> I guess we're going to commercial. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back. Bye. Candice Akala, everybody. Candice Akala.
Craig. Wow, you look great. I mean, well, really, I you. love the things and thank also you. the dress. It's fantastic. No. Wait, I love these. I love your socks. I noticed them they're, uh, earlier. They're tights. Uh, they they're, are. It gets cold. Yeah, you got to stay warm on the studio. Mm, <laughs> is it? I love this. This is a kind of like Mad Men-y kind of retro thank vibe you. going thank on. Thank you. A little throwback. Lovely. Bring it to the new beginnings. Congratulations. Thank you very much indeed. LL was a little kind of like... <laughs> He's like, what are you doing, man? I'm I like, oh, it's, it's okay. Well, life changes can be scary, but yes. they can also be beautiful. Thank you, Candice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. I'm always... I'm always delighted because your name is Akala and your father yes. is a doctor and, yes. uh, and you're on a vampire show, so your father is Dr. Akala. Yes. Do <laughs> Dr. Akala, yeah. Oh, I yes. just love that. It's very fun. Yeah. yeah. Wait, it, it's very fun. And there's a lot of, there's, you know, the theme of blood. Well, yeah, is your, father, is your father a blood doctor? Well, no, a heart doctor, so yeah. Like those blood involved in so that? So I grew up yeah. very accustomed to that's, seeing that's kind of, pictures and Is he, videos. I mean, is he a surgeon? Yes. Wow. Open heart, he does open heart surgery every day. Wow. Yeah, he's very that's... sweet when he's like, oh, honey, I know you've had such a stressful day. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to buy that. Like, I yeah. know you've had a way more stressful day. Oh, you wouldn't believe the craft services. They I were know. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, but that's amazing. What an impressive thing. It is your... very, I know. And then my mom worked as an environmental engineer. Good grief. And then I went into the entertainment industry. So, <laughs> bless their heart. That's good, though, <laughs> that, you know, you're bringing joy to people. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and making a little money, uh, that's that's always good. Putting and, food, yes. They're and very happy of, that I'm working. Yes, so and, and getting rid of vampires. It. Yes. You know, the, a menace to society that they are. Yes. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> Changing the world. One Changing vampire world. at a one, time. One yeah. vampire at a time. It's a bit, we, the thing is, though, when you do a vampire show, you will always, even though your career will go on and you'll do hundreds of other things, you'll always be a little bit followed around by vampire people. Yes. Because there's some people who get so obsessed with vampire movies and TV shows, they can't let it go. People are very... It is a cool thing, though. We've all collectively, as a cast, have taken a moment throughout the years that is just... that. You know, years from now, we can look back and tell, like, our children and our grandchildren of, you know, we were part of that vampire pop culture phenomenon back in the day. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. It yeah, is that was cool. pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I was in a vampire movie once, but it was you before. You were? Yeah, it was before they were cool. What was it called? It's called Modern Vampires. It's, no, yeah, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Were you it was my a first movie in America. I was a vampire, yeah. You were? Yeah, yeah. People Bef still follow me around to like, hey. No. <laughs> What was your vampire name? Uh, I can't remember, uh, you know, Simon or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was an English vampire. I was like, well, yes, drinking blood, lovely. You know, that. How old were you when you started acting? Mm, about three. Yeah? Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> well, you hear that out no, here. No, 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 I never did. you work as a child? No. You a child I, I think it's interesting, though, when you ask someone, like, oh, how long have you been acting? They're like, since I was nine months, I was in a diaper commercial. Yeah, no. And I'm like, wow, no, yeah, I didn't start until I was um, 17 or 18, but I did, did music. You go to, did you go to college? No. Right, you just went straight to acting. I did. Oh, the I heart thought that must be, oh, but your heart surgeon college. father must be so excited oh, about Oh, yeah, that. they were thrilled. Ah, they come on, thrilled. you're doing great, though. Well, I'm doing great now. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a, did you have to work different jobs to support yourself? Yep, I worked as a personal assistant for Ooh, a couple boy, years. Oh, boy, that's a terrible job. It was, but I, luckily, my boss was really nice. Was it someone famous? It was. Oh, come on, tell me then. <laughs> um, I worked for Dave Navarro for two oh, years. Oh, really? Yeah. That's an awesome job. Yeah, it was really Why awesome. Why did you give up that job? <laughs> <laughs> because I <laughs> because I got another job. I worked as oh, a backup well, singer. Then, yeah. And so then I I went on the road as a backup singer for a while. Really? What bands yeah. were you backup singing with? Uh for Miley Cyrus. Okay. Yeah. Hey! Oh. hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> was this pre? This is pre twelve. She, yeah, she was a. She was like fourteen, fifteen, and just yeah. So, she was in her still the Hannah Montana, which right. made me like the coolest cousin ever for all of my like little baby cousins. Right. Yeah. No. Be so fantastic. that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> Certain sections of the audience remember that fondly. <laughs>
That's a cool thing to do. And then you got into cool. the vampire movie. And then Ed I got, show. yeah. And then How I, long has that been going? Uh, five years. Ooh, that's the big one. I know, I, apparently. <laughs> apparently. That's the renegotiation <laughs> right there. You get yourself, uh, you can get a car. Have you got a car? I did get a car. Well, there you are then. You're on your way. So I have a car, yeah. Um, haven't uh, done wait, the house wait, I bet, yet, let me but... guess. Uh, hybrid. Yes. Runs it on... <laughs> Runs on kale. Um, <laughs> sunflowers, actually. Yeah. Um, no, but it is a hybrid. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Do you eat a lot of kale? Um, n sometimes, but oh, I. Oh, liar, liar, pants on fire. No. You eat kale. <laughs> but I also live in Georgia, so I balance it out oh, with like bacon yeah. and grits and yeah, yeah. and all those things. Ooh, Georgia's nice. I've been oh. there a few times. Yeah. Mm. Did you did you get some good Atlanta food, Southern food? Yes. You did? Yes, I did. Yeah. I had a very nice time. Yeah? Yeah, we're part of Georgia, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, we're that's, Atlanta. that's, uh, do you know why I noticed in Atlanta, though, that people don't stop for red lights? Have you noticed that? <laughs> um, they kind of think really. a red light means, eh. I, no, I mean, I, I know, like, obviously the whole country found out that people in Georgia, it, it's impossible to drive in the snow. Right, you know, right, this yeah. Year. Well, that's, that but you can understand. I can I mean. understand because there, there's no, the, the whole road's frozen. But right. I feel like, well, I've, I don't know, I've had a lot of people stop for red lights. Well, I think it's you they're stopping for. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make the show in Atlanta? Yeah. Ooh, vampires in the South. Vampires? Ooh, like New Orleans or something like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're going there, aren't you? Yes. When's that? Um, later this year. And you're getting? Married. Congratulations. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Married in New Orleans. Yep. Be a lot of drunk family members there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. We're prepared. Have you, have you, have you gone a bit Bridezilla? Are you doing all that, uh... No, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a whole world out there. And I, yeah, it be, can become very addictive. And, and so I've had to take a step back a little bit from like the Pinterest websites and the magazines. So you're and obsessing about your wedding, right? Obsessing. Yeah. Uh, not too much. I mean, it, it, but it is very scary. It can kind of take over your life. I mean, I kind of. Wait it, until after the wedding. <laughs> Talk about taking over your life. <laughs> I've kind of compared it to like it's its own like version of like bride porn where it's like it's on your computer and then it's on the TV and then it's on your phone and then it's like there's websites and there's magazines and and you start. Yeah, I know what porn is. <laughs> it's all right. I know where you're going. Yeah, yeah. And so on my to, phone too. It's yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take a little bit of a step back to. Uh, yeah, you know everything in moderation. <laughs> exactly. You know. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anyway, we're out of time. Oh man. Well, you're not. But oh. I, oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Awkward pause? Oh, let's try a new thing. Let's okay. try wistful silence. Pretty good. I like it. Yeah. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Have you ever been, have you ever been to Dover? But yeah, have you, I, a couple times. Have you? Well, been to Dover? Yeah, been to Dover, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been to Dover. I did, did you enjoy it? Oh, many, many times. Yeah. 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 Nice place. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about it? Well... Well, there was no pressure, you know, that was the thing. <laughs> Easy going. <laughs>